listen, there are battles that will be tough. I've told you, you and I, you and I, we, we are in the last day. Oh God, one day they will believe. May they believe now. Amen. See, this is where we are today. If you hear his voice, don't have your hands. We are in the last day. In the last days, I've told you, your eyes will see movies on the street. It was, you see power. You think you've seen magic on TV. Those people, they are no more doing it on TV. They are doing it on the streets. They are doing it in bright daylight, not at night. Those are precursors. Tiny flashes of what's coming. You will see human beings fly in the street like Marvel comics. They are already flying in halls. There's nothing you will not see. And what shall you do when you see it? When they say, you're God. Rebecca Brown spoke about how a lady walked into her house. Perfectly coiffed hair. Wealthy. But a witch, satanist. And then she levitates into the air. Standing like this, perfectly unruffled. And says, can your God do this? Then comes back down. <laughs> and mocks. In case you're here, or you're hearing me, and you're planning to backslide and go into satanism in the future. That time, come and do it in front of me. If you come down gently, it means I'm not breathing. Oh, you must fall. Hi, God. See, I will be gentle. I may not fly with you. Not that we can't. There's nothing our God can do. But I'll say, angel of the Lord. Rakataka. So he won't say I cost you. I'm a Christian. I can't cost. Rimbraba shoot. I may leave you stuck there in that air for two days. I mean, like floating. You think you're a mosquito. Stay there. Stay in Jesus' name. Then you know what my God can do as you're glitching in the air. So if madness reach you for future, I've told you, you want to backslide, just backslide small. Don't go deep, oh. and if you go deep, stay on the other side of the earth, even though I may still come after you. Why? For one reason, I knew you. Now, again, you might not understand what I'm saying now, but uh, talk to me in a few years. You will understand. When you see people, you knew, manifesting powers, doing amazing, and you're wondering how. Because your earth is about to get very rough. Darkness is coming out. Look at, they are not hiding. They, they are coming out. They are not, no, who is pretending anymore? They are no more pedophiles. They are my, my, minor attracted persons, maps. You know, everything is changing. Men are women, women are men. No, everything is losing. Demarcations are being blurred. You think it's stopping? It doesn't stop. They are marrying animals. They are taking over human nature. They are taking up over everything. You want to write a poem, a poem, tell AI. You don't need to write nothing. If you know, I, they showed me the other day. I saw it with my Kuro eyes. Write me a poem on anything, onions. One second. Complete poem. Rhyme. Written by a computer at once. Human beings are going to lose jobs. Oh, watch and see. Human beings. The, who was a little battle angel? That movie that came out. You see that thing? Human beings substituting parts. All of that is going to happen. All. There's no part of what you have seen. They are preparing you. You are the one that is playing and watching films. They are preparing you. They are preparing your mind, preparing your thoughts, preparing. I saw David Copperfield flying. He's a magic. They call him an illusionist. He stood in front of a crowd, an auditorium. And went like this into the air like Superman and flew around. Came down, picked someone, flew around. This is an old video. I, I don't know how God led me to that website. I haven't gone back then. It's more than about 12 years ago. So I saw in a website his name amongst other names, gurus and all that. And he said, human beings are not ready for. So we pretend, we call, we say we are doing illusions. 
I remember seeing that crowd as it was flying. A woman stood there with her hands like this to her mouth. Tears were running down her eyes. If that man said, bow, all of them would have fallen on their face and worshipped him as God. Because you can't see a human being demonstrate so much power. And not be in awe. Like, how are you doing this? And they call it illusions. Then the foolish people stand there and pretend and clap like, wow, what a nice trick. What kind of trick is that? There's no trick there. You just saw magic, the power of Satan at work fully. All these things have happened over the years. The Indians, why do you think India was how it was? I don't know if all the demons, maybe 90% of the demons landed in India, then they shed out the rent 10% <laughs> around the world. But wow, <laughs> those guys, whoa. They used to have 30, 300 million gods. And it was, it was, I think it was a ground zero for a lot of spiritual activity. But the point is they stayed there. And everywhere they had all kinds of gods and things. I've taught you, for those that have been here, that stop thinking they drew those things from their head. In the past, there were spirit entities mixed with human beings. Galish, uh, Genesis 6, that came to this earth. And gave men all sorts of abilities and taught them all sorts of things. Human beings dabbled into things. So when you say an Indian, uh, whatever, lying down on a bed of nails, nails, pure nails, all pointed up, and he lies on or a human being for, for, for 10 years has not dropped his left hand. Or is it 20? How long was that guy? Whatever, he hasn't dropped it for 20 something or 30 something years now. It's like this. You, you see the weird things they do or someone standing on one leg or so, for, 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 for two years. Can you, can you stand for five minutes? So how is he standing on one leg for two years? Or standing on nails or walking on hot coals of fire? There's no trick. It's darkness. Now I am saying that thing is going to abound in your world. You're moving from the age of technology to the age of spirituality. And it's going to be light or darkness. If you keep playing with darkness, you'll be on the dark side. You'll be on the opposite side of some of us. And there's no neutral. Though. There's nothing like Satan, your master, will tell you, well, don't hurt them. They are nice people. Even if we leave you alone, you will not leave us alone. And since you will not leave us alone, we have to answer. When you call, we will answer. Especially when you come to touch a ship that is under our care. You know what we do to lions and bears? Who is a lion and bear? An oppressive ruler. The book of Proverbs is like a lion and a bear. We will take you by the bear and we will kill you. We will have to kill you. That's when I'll start killing people for the first time. I've endured 20, 30 years all around me. Die by fire. I have not killed anything by fire or water. I've allowed them alone. But when in the future you join darkness, I will kill you. If you are stay in Australia. Babe, I'm going to Australia. Move. Don't, don't be in the space I am. Who wants to join me? When the time comes, you understand. Don't remember. Store it somewhere in your mind. I am one. Mm, you will understand. You will understand when the day comes. The day is not now. But the, there's many reasons why you should be a serious Christian. You cannot be potter potter baby Christian I described earlier on. And what can you fight? You're a baby. We saw some vision the other time. We saw space... Craft, dropping people off and down on earth. All was chaos, war, trouble, violence. Bah, bah. And the Lord dropped off some people and they landed like warriors. And he said, protect the babies. Protect and we move. People were moving the crowds and picking the babies and protecting them. He said, protect the babies. Defend the babies. There will be babies in those days too. Young Christians. And physical children, too, who are small, who cannot fight for themselves. There will be a lot of wicked things. There already is. All the endless human sacrifice that has gone up, which you're not aware of. You call it abortion. It's called Molech. It's a god that takes babies as a sacrifice. It's been nothing new about it. Astoret, Baal, the trinity of darkness that always destroyed God's people. They are back. They've been back for a few decades now. They are pushing and all over, Christians are welcoming them in and acting like nothing ha is happening. They don't even know what's happening because they are blind. And blindness will make you stab your own mother.
It's a day of war. It's a day of war. The Bible says here, he said to Joshua, see, I have removed your iniquity. Listen, filthy clothes are removed by those that are standing before the Lord that you came to meet. You better have respect for those you come to meet in the Lord. And I'm not talking about those who say they are in the Lord. There are people everywhere, millions possibly, who claim they are in the Lord. Filthy, messed up, and more unrighteous than you. They finish having a Bible study. I've heard stories. Finish having a Bible study. And then the guy puts his arm around his girlfriend, kisses her. They are not married. All that. And then they stay that night together, probably committing morality together. Because when a guy and a girl enters a room too long, whether you had the full thing or it's halfway thing or whatever version of what you did inside that room, are you married? You are together and, and this is normal. And you can do it after Bible study. And everybody in the Bible study knows. And you pull out alcohol. And you drink. And you flex. And you relax in the Lord. And you combine Jesus. And you move from there. Pile into a car and go to a club. Who has heard of these things? Christians. Born again. Tongue talking. Tongue. Bible study studying. I don't mean one. As a group. You do it as a group. I don't mean an individual that hides to go and do. Mm -mm. I'm talking about openness. In who, has, who knows about this? Thing? Raise your hand. I ask a question. I'm seeing only one hand. I see some English. Wow. Bad. Okay. okay. I saw about six or seven hands. Overflow. I hope there's more. And it's because now you're now on a day. Listen. Do you hear me say they are not hiding? It's not secret sin. It's liberty in Jesus. <coughs> And not that Jesus of 2 Corinthians. The other Jesus. The one the Bible Paul called. And not that Jesus. He said they had another gospel. That they are being led by a different spirit. They don't know because they don't test the spirit. They come and then they heal. They cast out demons. And they speak in tongues. And they prophesy. And they believe how could God be with, not be with me. And I'm doing this. Wait till the day of judgment. You remember what the words of our master was. That you can do the two. But when that day comes, he says, I don't know you. 